to Magic Gathering stuff. I'm done. The weekend is over. Partying is done. Role playing is done. And it's time to play some more invasion drafts while we can. So, uh, off to the invasion drafts tournament. Limited queues. Hope they're still firing. Flashback invasion draft. Swiss. That's my cup of tea. Seven players. That took a long while, actually. So the events are not firing as often. Oh, here we go. Uh, Jogmot's agenda. I've checked that before. I think it's worthless. Yes. Okay. Annihilate. Pretty good. Uh, what the hell? It's super good. Chameleon, Scarred Puma, Bog Initiate, Thunderscape, Fire Screamer, Plague Spores, Annihilate, gotta be better than Plague Spores. It, it, it's cost one mana less, it's a two for one, this is also two for one, but the target land may be irrelevant. Uh, I'm gonna take Annihilate here. Do I have sound? Alright, uh, if nothing strange happens, I will probably just be Grixis again. Cavalier. Oh, it's double sided, that's pretty bad. There is the red black land. Serenia is damage each player. Aura shards. Aura shards is worth some money. 259. Uh, very, very hard to play. That's an interesting breaking point, actually. 259 is exactly in the area where you will get the card for its wor value. But I want the removal. God damn it. Uh, Aura Shards is an uncommon, so it will go down a little more. Ah, uh, no, I want to win. I'm taking the Plague Spores. At three tickets, I don't think about it. I just pick the valuable card. But not this time, not at 259, and going down. If it had been a rare, I probably would have taken it. Uh, the Drake Skull is mana. There is Prohibit. It's a Shivan zombie. Prohibit is 54 cents now. There is a probe. Uh, avoiding blue could be worth something. There's a lot of good blue cards here. So maybe I'm just red black this time. I'm taking the Shivan zombie. Okay, Dromar Satan, Goham Jin. Uh, he's pretty good. Uh, Crown, Tainted Well. Recover is also pretty good. But I think the huge guy is better here. Yeah, I'm taking the big guy. Okay, so my cards have stopped coming now. Blurred Moon goes. Sleeper's Robe. Uh, what the hell? Uh, that's pretty good. Hunted Cheetah. Not the best Pouncy Kabu. Could be a 5-3. Yashino Grappler. I might have to go blow here. I, I want to try Sleeper's Robe. It looks... Pretty powerful. And we've seen that despite all this perfect removal, things can go unanswered. 
Urborg Phantom can't be blocked. That doesn't sound very good. Phyrexian Reaper is what we want here, I think. Or the other Shivan zombie. Now I'm taking the Reaper. Uh, what the hell? Might Weaver. Rokavu. Cow Scout. Sulfur went. Hmm. Dredge, even. I didn't even know there was a card called Dredge. This is mana fixing, but it's not very impressive mana fixing. I think I'm gonna take the scout. Heroes Reunion, Vigorous Charge, Turf Wound, Javimaya Barbarian, Worldly Council, Metatron. I should really not get anything good in blue. I might consider picking up green here if it looks undrafted. I have like fantasies of the Plague Spores wheeling from this first pack, but of course that will not happen. That would be too good, way too good. It surprisingly didn't wheel. Thunderscape <laughs> Scar Puma isn't too good. So I think it's uh, Thunderscape here. Even if he's pretty bad too. Deal down to each player. Yeah, I never read that before. Wow. Tidal Visioner, Traveler's Club, Cavalier. I'm taking the Cavalier because it's a rare. I got two excellent first picks, but then what? That's a creature at least. Having one toughness is pretty bad in a world of uh, pingers and saps. I hope I cut red and black well enough to actually get the good removal now in the other pack. I don't think I will be getting blue cards in the second pack. The valuable cards in plane shift is Orim's Chant and Ella Damri's Call that you saw last time. I don't know what I really want from the next pack. There is another Cow Scout, which I will pick up, which uh, does argue that I should have a third color. Because a 3 2 for 3 is pretty good in this format, and 2 2 for 3 is unexciting. But it does work. Okay, I'm taking this horn sheet, so nobody else does. And I need 4 drops. Phantom, well. Not too exciting. Lanvar Vanguard. Not very aggressive. Time for plane shift. Is this the set where Flame Tank Kabu is? Frixian Scooter. Uh, wow. Okay, that's pretty good. Stormscape Battle Mage is uh, also s amazing, but I don't. I'm not sure I will be blue. 
Slingshot Goblin, Shriek of the Dead, Nightscape, Terminate! Wow. Scooter or Terminate? Is Scooter a bomb? Terminate is hard to get better removal than Terminate. But Scooter is just amazing. But I don't need amazing creatures if I have amazing removal. Oh my god, this was hard. 5-5 five, five for 4. That's super strong in this format. But I'm gonna take the Terminate! Uh, what? Catacombs! I want catacombs. Marsh Crocodile, pretty good. Slingshot again. But I think it's time for the mana fixing then. That's exactly the mana fixing I want. Uh, so I'm picking it up, that means I can play blue. But I do want Slingshot Goblin. Uh, what? Stratodon, been tricked by that. There's my Lava Zombie, and Thunderscape Familiar. And Death Bomb. This is not the best removal. I don't have too many sheep creatures to pick up. I think I'm gonna go with the removal again. So my creatures are really underwhelming. But I do have the quality removal that I've been wanting in the other drafts. And now I have four hard removal spells. Dark suspicions. That really loses X life. Uh, doesn't seem too impressive, does it? Another catacombs. Racing snid. Oh, that wasn't very good. Another death bomb. A rushing river singe. Double catacombs is not super good. Uh, I'm gonna go with the removal again. Sea snid. Cavern Harpy. Take Sunscape Familiar for value. No, oh, it's below 50 cents already. Can I use the, the Cavern Harpy? Having a flyer seems like a good thing. Taking it. Uh, Meyer Kavu or Lava Zombie or Thunderscape Familiar. 4 3. Easy 4 3. Uneasy 4 3. I think I'm taking the Meyer Kavu here. Thunderscape Familiar is so bad in itself. Yep, this is a hitter. I need hitters. But Cavern Harpy will be hard. What are we going to return? The Shivan Zombie. I don't think we're even gonna play Metatron. Cause let's face it, we are not blue. 
And we do need more creatures. We're not that much blue. We could still play Sleeper Shroom and Cavern Harpy, but maybe not. So let's look at the deck without them. 15 playables out of 21 cards. Though Phantom is hard to play, but it is playable with Death Bomb. There's another Thunderscape. Skyship Weatherlight. Any number of artifact creatures in XLM. Mm, seems slow but fun. Morg Toad. I think I'm going with the Thunderscape familiar. Not too impressive. Gaia's Herald. This used to be worth money. Bloodstock. Uh, yep. There is finally my slingshot goblin. Cow Scout, not very impressive here. Maybe I'm playing green actually. For trample for the grappler, mana there. Uh, Dralnos Crusade. Looks like fun. Nothing else here will be played. So I'm taking the Crusade. Playing it, of course. Trickery, Honorable Scout, another Thunderscape familiar. They are not very impressive. But they will make everything easier to cast. <laughs> Dark Suspicion. Racing Snid, so weak. Singe. Uh, taking the rare. Root Greville. Uh, people are not allowed to have that. Yeah, picking up those shifting skies for my shifting sky deck. Okay, Spirit Monger. Show up. We want Vindicate. We want Pernicious Deed. We get Caverns of Coilos, which actually is a money card. Penumbra Cavu, Zombie Boa, Necra Disciple, Yilt, Lanovar Dead, Razorfin Hunter. Think I'd rather play Razorfin Hunter than Yilt. So we're back on being blue here. else did we have that were useful? The Kevin Hawk. Lightning Angel. Uh, we don't have the color first. Whirlpool Drake. Captain and Martyr's Tome. Necklace Divine Light. Gladenar. Hilt. Right. 
Miracle Disciple. Well, this is where we pick up the Jilt. Standard Bearer shows his ugly face. Coalition flag. Legionnaire. This is fairly strong, but I don't want to. Uh, I'm just gonna take the standard bear for value. So we're hiding white and hiding green, hiding the shifting skies, considering the cavern harpy, not considering the metatron zombie, not considering Dralnu, dark suspicions, goblin ringleader. He wants goblins. Uh, get the sanctuary. Red or green permanent. Throw a card and discard a card. Soul link. What about soul link? No. We are taking the airship. Yes. And <laughs> we are Grixis again. Like we expected all the time. This is a deck. But I think it's a deck that can't play the Cavern Harpy. Fungal Shambler. Interesting. Whirlpool Rider. And the Uprising. Consume strength. Oh, going around. But I can't fit green in the deck. So I'm taking the uprising. Jungle barrier. So many good cards. No, that was exaggerated. But I'm taking the barrier. I can't play it. Oh, Thunderscape Familiar, you are so weak. Urborg Phantom seems like a sideboard card. Mournful Zombie Foul Presence for removal Savage Gorilla, that's good I want like green mana, but I could never support it I'm making Foul Presence a sideboard card I had the option of going black, red, green many a time in this draft. Another uprising. I don't think you want to, do you? That's a solid creature. Boa, but how many five drops do I want? Boa is better than Bloodstock though. So Bloodstock goes to the sideboard. Uh, I don't want you guys to play Gladenar against me. I think Sleeper's Robe could actually be a card. Uh, given the success I've had with um, 
a Quicksilver Dagger. A Blood Fight Dwarf for the sideboard. Taking that soul link. Landslide. So how blue am I? Kevin Harpy has how many targets? Shivan Zombie, Razor Fin Hunter. How many how many targets can't he use? I have six creatures that he can't hit. So he only has ten targets. That's probably not good enough. Catacombs to Decapod. First of all, we're playing all the removal. Six good removal spells. Seven good removal spells. Uh, seven and a half good removal spells. Two to dude. Card advantage. Markavu. Jin. Boa. Airship. Well, the Tommy Scare Familiar doesn't do enough. Cover Scouts, Cover Scouts, Goblin. Are we playing 18 lands? With all these expensive cards, I think we are. To really get use of the uprising, we have to have a well, Reaper isn't very strong either. We really have to have creatures. But what creatures? Grappler. Is it familiar that it's the next step? When we don't have the green mana. Do we? No, we don't. <sighs> Can we get away with 17 land here? Can't block is so bad. But it is a tree drop that we want. Can we play Methatron? We have four blue cards here. I think that's quite enough. So we have to play the familiars. Maybe we don't have to play 18 lands with familiars. Is that just wishful thinking? Bloodstock or Reaper? Bloodstock. Fourteen creatures. Fourteen creatures, seven removal, two questionable spells. Uh, then I'm talking about Uber Uprising and Sleeper's Robe. I think we're cutting the Sleeper's Robe. <laughs> I 
I want the Cavern Harpy, I don't have a flyer. And now how many targets does he have? He only has seven targets. Uh, that doesn't work. And this is just so weak. But he still can block. Well, 18 land and the Reaper here. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do the 18 land thing. And uh, yeah, that's what we are going to do. We have three blue cards. Do we have double cost mana anywhere? Not really. Seven swamps. Uh, annihilate. Seven red. Jilt, Razorfin Hunter, Airship. I think they're good enough to warrant a splash. 15 guys. Grixis again. But this time we have the strong removal spells to help our five trees get through. So we are vulnerable to strong black card. And uh, maybe Dark Suspicions is a sideboard card. Hope I get hit by a ravenous rat. I think 15 creatures are enough to support the death bombs. Not super impressed by my 3 drops. But hopefully these guys help me to get my 5 drops. Quicker. Okay. We are doing this, 